Here at Fletcher Moreland, we load test our servo motors after repair. Here is a CT motor being tested. The engineer runs the motor up to nameplate speed and fully loads the motor to nameplate torque using the touch screen on our load test interface controller. This is the only way of assuring the torque constant, the amount of force a motor gives for the current supply to it is correct. By spinning the motor at full speed and measuring the torque constant in both directions, we can see any problems with commutation, alignment, or intermittent faults with the feedback device. As you can see, the engineer is running this motor at 3000 RPM with 19 Newton meters load. The load can be viewed in the amber analog display on the screen. Please take note of the currents displayed in the upper left hand side of the screen. Reversing the motor with the same load, the display should read negative 3000 RPMs and drawing the same current. We also check the balance of the currents in the windings to ensure they are correct as well. This information can be viewed inside the red colored analog display towards the middle top of the screen. An added advantage is that it gets the motor to the full rated operating temperature because we're running it at full power. This reveals any temperature related problems with the feedback device or mechanical parts. Other repairs may only test the back EMF and static torque, and they say the motor is okay. They may not even perform a load test at all. Our experience shows that these repair methods are unreliable, as some faults cannot be detected this way. We find our dynamic load testing method gives us both, you, and us, the total assurance that the motor performs to its factory specifications.